getting back to, uh, for, for those of you who are currently receiving some form of Centrelink benefit, now it could be the age pension or it could be new start or the disability pension. But it, for those of you that were receiving one of those Centrelink benefits as at the 1st of January 2015 and they had an account-based pension that was going at that point in time, then you may your account-based pension that you had started at that point in time may not be deemed from Centrelink's perspective and that could be an advantage. If you're not sure whether yours is deemed or not, then you can check your Centrelink details online or call Centrelink on 132300 and find out whether your account-based pension is deemed or not. There is often an advantage in your account-based pension um, retaining its non-deemed status. And that's where we talk about grandfathering. So if you want to maintain that status of your account-based pension, then don't close it. Don't roll it over and don't reboot it. So maintain it in its current status or you potentially will lose that deemed status. You also need to continue to qualify for income support. If you, for for example, in one two-week period uh, are not eligible for the age pension, uh, then you'll lose the grandfathering as well. So just another to highlight that change that occurred in 1st of January 2015, if that's your scenario, it is generally handy to maintain that grandfathering um, so that your age your account-based pension is not deemed.